All right, guys. It is an unbelievably over-the-top, spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. In paradise, oh boy, we are days away from the uh, from the silver queen corn harvest. My God, look at this. Days away. I can feel them, feel them starting to flesh out. My God, where to start? But it's uh, actually came out here to get going on the bean harvest. And I see that I got all these other harvests to do. Good Lord, where to start? Man, look at this bunch of tomatoes here. Give them a couple more days. Oh, man. Those BLTs are already become the basis of my diet. But uh, I know I can find ones. Look at this. Look at this big boy. Give him one more day. We're going to give that big boy one more day. Look at this dude. This guy here, I'm sure, weighs well over a pound. Good lord, these big old beef steaks. <laughs> Look at these things. Oh yes, well, I like to make, uh, cook my beans with some new potatoes. Now the potatoes don't look very good. I, I just let the plants go ahead and die of this fungus because they already made their tomatoes. Let me get one. Let's get one onion here. Let's get two onions. Two onions to cook with those beans. Look at that beautiful. Look at that beautiful onion. Alright, now we are going to stick our hand in like little Jack Horner. See if we can find some taters. Man, that's just the way I like them. These little new red potatoes to go with the pole beans. Look at this, guys. You just, you just stick my hand in here and look what comes rolling out. This is one. <laughs> this is one out of how many? Why did you get rotten? Oh, man, how can rotten potatoes stink as bad as they do? I think digging new potatoes is one of my favorite things in the garden. Just coming out here and, uh, Sticking your thumb in and pulling out these beautiful little new red potatoes. And it's a fine day here in the Hardin. Uh oh, the chipmunks have found. Sancho, you're not doing your job. Little fuckers. The chipmunks are enjoying the harvest of new potatoes. Anyway, I'm gonna. I'm going to cook up these new red potatoes with a big old pot of, big old pot of green beans. Man. So I think about, what, two pounds of pole beans, of Kentucky Wonder pole beans. Couple of onions, half a pound of new red potatoes. Good lord, so here we go, guys. These damn, uh, these beans are hard to see. Well, I don't know, I might still be, I guess, the big harvest 
It's still a few days out. It is Saturday, August 14th. And now this this is the the bean row that I had to start twice. I planted this crazy thing on May 17th. And the slugs, if you remember the slug attack. But good God, how many flowers do I have? The great slug attack and the Japanese beetle attack. <sighs> Man, the trick with these pall beans is you want to pick them when they're young and tender. And when you have 200 pounds of pole beans, uh, <laughs> you know, might as well. Don't need to be bashful about picking the pole beans. Good Lord, I'm gonna, I, I know I'm gonna have 200 pounds of beans out here. Man, anybody within driving distance of Bugs in a Jar Farm. If you're anywhere near, uh, man, and the squash, I just can't keep up with this squash. And Lord, it keeps coming. But, uh, oh man, Kentucky Wonder Pole Beans. There is no other bean like the Ken oops like the Kentucky Wonder Pole Bean. And they even taste different than the Kentucky Wonder uh, than the Kentucky Wonder Bush Bean. And I'm gonna go to the other side. Go to the other side. That gets the afternoon sun. These are the ones that get the, this flank of the tunnel gets the, uh, gets the morning sun. Mm. Mm, man. Look at this. You know, it's days like this. This is the reason I am both a climate refugee and a uh, and a snowbird. It is about 70 degrees here on uh, on, on October. Listen to me. On August 14th, it is about 70 degrees. I thought I was going to the other side. I think these might be the vines, the few vines that the uh, that the slugs didn't get. I had to replant this entire bean garden on uh, July 10th. And I think these down here on the end. Look at these beans just hanging, just hanging inside the, the tunnel. Just reach your hand in the tunnel and pull homegrown garden fresh produce off the vine. <sighs> and, uh, just don't understand city folks choosing to. Choosing to live in a damn city when you could be out here picking beans. You now picking beans can be pretty miserable when it's 95 degrees, but when it's when it is 70 degrees in mid-August. Man, just look at this silver queen corn. Look at that. I know we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine ears of corn. Oops, right in front of me. Look at that. Good Lord. The cucumbers, my God, I could come through here twice a day.
So even with the plants dying, they, they still make the fruit. The leaves are dying back of all of this fungus. But uh, the cucumbers just keep right on coming. I, you know, I can't stay on top of these damn things. And look at this. Jesus. <laughs> Come out here for beans. It's like every day. I mean, look at these things. My God. All right. Enough cucumbers. See, they are dying of fungus, but as I say, that, that once the fruit is set, they seem to go right on about making cucumbers, but I just, what was that, another seven cucumbers, but I'm here for beans, not here for cucumbers. Oh, man, look at that. Anyway, I need to use both hands, but uh, it is a fine day in the garden. Get out there and look at those collard greens. My God. Mm. Need to come out here and make some salsa too. They got the cilantro, the tomatoes, the peppers, and the onions. The salsa bar will soon be open. Bye, guys.